All right, it's time to play the shell game on the homestead. Everybody, welcome back to the Renewed Homestead. Ben and Denise here. Loki's wandering around. Well, you saw us. We ran our first batch through the Harvest Right Freeze Dry Freezer. Love it, by the way. There's an affiliate link, but that's not the point of this this video. What did we do? We ran ten dozen eggs through that thing. They're all powdered up, just perfect, and vacuum sealed. They're ready to go. We had a bunch of shells. You might. As you might figure, what are you going to do with them? Well, there are three ways you can use those on the homestead besides feeding them back to your, your chickens. Which, which we've, we've talked about. We've talked about that. And yes, there's folks out there that say, you can't do that. Well, you can. But Yes, and, and just a caveat, <laughs> um, if your chickens are eating eggs, there's a nutrient problem. So if you feed them eggshells, it should not ha cause any problems as long as they're getting the nutrition they need. When they go after eggs, there's a bigger problem. Yep. And if your chickens are eating them, go check out Stony Ridge Farm. He did a, uh, a video, video on that. That's right. Mr. Uh, Mr. Spalding and Mr. Uh, Callaway golf balls in yes. there. It worked for us. Yes, it did. Anyway, all right. So we're going to take you over to our tomatoes and show you what we're doing with these uh, shells. All right. So as we've stated, we had 10 dozen eggs and we had a whole lot of egg shells. Now we can feed them back to our chickens and I will uh, link back to that video, a free way you can give calcium to your chickens, um, but you can also use it in the garden. Now you don't wanna use um, whole eggshells or crushed up eggshells because it can take a long time for that calcium to break down into the soil. Um, so what you're gonna wanna do is let those eggs dry. You set them out on a pan, you know, take the egg, rinse it out, set it on a pan, let it dry, just like you would if you were gonna give it back to your chickens, but you don't crush them up. You're gonna put them in a blender or a food processor and you're going to turn them into powder. And then there's three different ways that you can utilize um, the powdered eggshells. And by powdering them, it makes it more bioavailable uh, to the soil and it's not gonna take as long to break down. Now these tomatoes are um, tomatoes that our neighbors gave us. They're actually determinate uh, bush sauce tomatoes. Um, and they're down here away from our garden because we don't want them cross pollinating. We want to save the seeds for next year. Yes. And that's, that's why they're down here in all the grass but also hides them from the deer. Yeah, yeah well, we're trying to anyways. <laughs> trying. Now, um, they're not as tall as they probably would normally be. We've been really cool here. Like it's been like spring weather. It has not been anywhere near summer weather. Um, we've had a week straight of rain. Yep. Um, our nights have been in the 50s. You know, it, it's been about what, 10 degrees? I'd say about 10 degrees cooler than it normally is. Yeah, at least. Yeah, so the, they're doing well. They're just not as tall as they probably would normally be. But today we're 81. 81 and humid. We, you know, after a week straight of rain, we had a storm roll in last night. Oh, wicked it's, thunderstorm. It's been a week of gentle rain until last night. And it came down hard and it sounded like, like, it sounded like the clouds were colliding around our house. I mean, they were, it was all over us. But, it was. but the, the ground is finally getting a chance to warm up. And if you were, if you were to look close, you would still see bunny poop down here. And that's the nitrogen these plants need to develop their leaves and their roots and all that. But when they start to blossom, they need calcium. Yep. Calcium, phosphorus, potassium. Mm. Yep. Um, so this is a really good way to get them some of that calcium. All right, so you can see we have our powdered eggshells here. And one real easy way to do it, you can just go ahead and put it down on the roots of the plant. And then as it gets watered, that will actually feed that soil. So that's uh, first way. So let's go ahead and check out the second way. All right, the second way you can do it is just a simple watering can, fill it full. We, we use about a cup and a half to, to a cup of in the ground eggshells, stir it up like you're making Kool-Aid, let it uh, dissolve a little bit, and pour it right on the plants. We're not doing that today. All the rain we've had, our plants need a break from the wet. They yes, need to they dry do. out a little. So 
So we'll tell you about it, but we're not going to show you. <laughs> <laughs> now let's go over and do the, the show you the third way you can use these eggshells. All right, the third way you can use those eggshells is add it to your compost tea. We started this a week ago, and I know it's going to smell wonderful when I open this up, but it's this is comfrey root and comfrey leaves. Or I'm sorry, comfrey leaves and rabbit poop. So that's been uh, <clears throat> festering <laughs> for a week now. Uh, so in about a week from now, we'll be up there. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so we're gonna put a couple handfuls of the eggshell in here that will, you know, dissolve with all this. And then when we strain that off, all those wonderful nutrients, wonderful smelling nutrients will go onto the plants. But we're gonna go ahead and mix a couple handfuls I happen to know for a scientific fact that that is exactly one cup. No, you don't. I'm kidding. I am totally kidding. But for a five gallon bucket, it should be about right. As you imagine, this is you know, a couple of these. Yeah, we're about on. So I do want to stir that in a little bit. Well, and this is not an exact science. We're no. just adding nutrients. No, so. no, no, it, it is not. But oh, mama mia. Guys, I wish we had smell-o-vision. That's right. That's right. My, my kids will appreciate this. Lemonade, lemonade, just like Nana used to make. <laughs> okay, I got to tell the story. Uh, the Diamondbacks base, you know, baseball team in Arizona, at the game, there used to be a guy that would sell lemonade going through the stands, and he'd walk around, lemonade, lemonade, just like Nana used to make. So it's just kind of a running joke because for whatever reason, it struck us really funny the day we saw him doing that. Lemonade, lemonade, like grandma made, yum, yum, gotta get some. Now we'll so. leave this in. You can leave compost tea for two uh, weeks to 30 days. Now obviously if you leave it for 30 days, it's going to be more potent. You can use it after about two weeks though. Erica Goldberg. Right. <laughs> anyway, so in about a week we'll be able to use that wonderful stuff. Even Loki's walking away from this one. <laughs> So, all right, so that's three ways you can use your eggshells. All right, well, that's three ways to get rid of eggshells, besides feeding them to three your chickens. Three ways to use them and not throw them away. Oh, absolutely, yeah. You know, try not to let anything go to waste, no matter what it is we're doing. I mean, you know, even the, the compost tea, that's, that's leaves and stuff that's just there and available. In fact, I think we used rainwater that got caught off the, uh, the mm -hmm. well house, so. Anyway, well, uh, let us know if you've used eggshells like this, whether you feed them to your birds, have you used them for, for fertilizer? Um, yeah, and there are definitely other ways to use eggshells. We just wanted to show you uh, three quick ways that you yeah. could use them to actually benefit your garden and help you yeah. with your food production. Yeah, I got those all blended up. I'm like, you know, we haven't shared that with our uh, subscribers. We should do that because yes. it's a great way to use them. So. All right, well, it's almost the end of uh, June. Have you got your hoary hoary knife yet? Yes, have, great gardening knife. It is, it is. The reviews are amazing. <laughs> they actually are. Well, they are, yeah. <laughs> yeah. The ones we've sold, everybody's loving it. I, I use ours, I used ours today to plant uh, some more sweet potatoes. Yes, we so, got some slips for free, so we're not gonna let those go to yeah. waste. Well, we paid for them, but they doubled our order. Well we, we, well, we paid $7. <laughs> this guy had slips and he's like seven bucks for 50. 50. And then he's like, here, th have another he's, one. And we're like, like, there might be some moldy ones in the middle. He's like, go ahead and take two bundles. So we got a hundred sweet potato I, slips. I don't know what in the world, because we, we have what, a bunch of them already planted. Yeah, we, I'm not sure what we're going to do with them. We but... grew, grew 30 of our own, which are dispersed throughout. And uh, yeah, I just ran them up along the, the creek side and a couple places. But Hopefully, anyway, yeah. so. We hope you are doing well. We hope you have a hoary hoary knife. And if you don't, you are really missing out. So go over to our shop, renewedhomestead.com. Yes. And, shop. yes. and for those a Harvest Strike freeze dryer, we do have an affiliate link. So yes. if you are thinking of purchasing one, um, it's in our uh, description. Um, it would actually go to support the channel. Yep. Um, we also have an affiliation um, with Homegrown Herbalist. So uh, we, I'm in the Homegrown Herbalist um, herbal program right now, learning how to use um, what God has given us for medicine for ourselves and our animals. Um, so if you need herbs, you can also purchase through us and we also um, get um, a small percentage mm -hmm. of, of uh, those sales. So it's just a way to support us. And y'all, we don't do any affiliate links with anything that we don't um, use ourselves. Yeah, yeah. if it's 
Yeah. Yeah, we, we, we vet it. If it's, if it's, sorry, if it's crap, we're not gonna. No, we're, no, absolutely <laughs> we're not. not. It. No, so. absolutely not. So, um, but we also have deodorant um, and willow rooting hormone, mm -hmm. and we still have comfrey root available. So if you don't have comfrey, um, definitely get some comfrey um, and you can purchase it at renewedhomestead.com forward slash shop. There you go. No. All right. Well, uh, we are praying for you. Seriously, we do. We pray for all of you every day and, you know, pray for us and <laughs> this pray, world. pray for this world. There's a lot going on. You know, there is, and there's a lot, a lot going on that we don't even know about. So yes. Anyway. Prayers. All right, we've got friends coming over, so I'm going to get in and put together the dessert. And... In other words, she's saying I'm running long here. So <laughs> anyway, thanks for tuning in. Make sure you hit the subscribe button on the or subscribe and thumbs up on the way out. Take care, everybody. God bless. <laughs> we'll see you on the next video. Bye, y'all. Bye.